there guys, Great Fred here, bringing you another, um, playing open.bb video, um, it, um, we're back on the, uh, 2009 stock, and, um, doors are going to be closing in about 50 seconds, but welcome back to another one, it is episode 3, and today we're driving on the Victoria Line, and as you can see, I'm in a very nice modern swanky cab, it is off the 2009 stock, Doors are now closing. I'm going to put the uh, reverse in forward and we are going to start moving basically, essentially. Hear the nice chimes off the 2009 stop. There we go. So um, we're going to be driving from, I do believe it's um, Walton, Walton, so central to Vauxhall, or I think it's Black Horse Road to Vauxhall. I'm not too sure because when I went out and explored the cam when I was testing it, it did say uh, Black Horse Road, so I'm not too sure, but it is from the Waltonstow Central end of the line. We're going to be going all the way up to Vauxhall, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, we're driving in this really nice modern 2009 stock train, which I do believe is one of the deep level tube stock lines. And I think the newest, I think the newest is uh, probably the S stock. I think the S stock is slightly newer than the 2009 stock, but you can tell that they're very similar because they're both made by Bombardier. Bombardier, like, I don't know if it's Bombardier, Bombardier, Pe yeah, people always correct me on that. Okay, so we're driving the train actually a manual, it should be on ATO, and I can actually leave it on ATO if I want. I can just, um, press, uh, control A, um, right now, and then it will, um, put it onto the AI, so I might do that while we do the shouts and whatnot, um, like, as I say, because there's no, if there's, um, ATO like there is, it's just like, So we were, this is Blackwell's Road and we were starting from Bolton to Central. I don't believe there's any um, announcements for this train, uh, it's not that detail or whatever. You'll see the detail once I stop here, nice. The doors are open. Uh, I'm going to go off AI uh, so I can quickly go out. Uh, there is a, a model, as you can see here, uh, but you can tell that there is no, like, I'm going to open the doors again because we want the doors to keep open. But you can tell that there's no like uh, open animation stuff to the doors, unfortunately, which is a bit sad, but you know, at least we get like an exterior view. Some trains don't even get have an exterior view. It's just like a grayed out kind of box. Um, but yeah, there's the front. It's not the best. It's not the best kind of texturing kit. It's just like a flat picture, just flat panel. That's on the front of the train. That's fine. There's no interior view, as you can see, so we're not going to do any kind of nice interior shots. Yeah. We are at Black Horse Road. I don't really like that kind of effect where, like, the tunneling makes the station look a little light, but what can you do? Yeah, Black Horse Road, dropping in there. This is obviously not the best map. As I said, I did the best map first, uh, which was the centre line. Um, I think then, uh, from then on, things won't get that good. I think the Northern Line, um, as well is all right, those movies. Before I depart the station, the shaft, before I forget to go to, in this video, um, my nanny Elaine and my nanny, uh, my granddad, uh, uh, David. That's again, my nanny Elaine and my granddad, David. Uh, the links and stuff will be down below. Please do show them some love. Um, again, quick note for shouts, I'm not taking any shouts currently, so please do not request one because I'm trying to go through all the shouts I have. Once I finish that, I'll start accepting shouts. Right, there we go. Let's uh, carry on. Let's close the doors, I think. So, open them, maybe by accident. Anyway, uh, doors are closed, even though uh, they were already closed for the first time. Um, let me just get through there. I'm gonna do that. It's coming through so fast. And like, um, they come into the station, it's so fast, which is ridiculous. might be uh, interested in trying out the 1967 stock for this map. Uh, there is an actual uh, 1967 stock to do. And like, what I'm going to 
gonna do um with this series is like I'm gonna do each line first and do like a train like realistic for real life. Um then I'm gonna revisit and go back and um like try out new like different combinations and stuff. So um I'll come back and uh, actually do the Victoria line again, but I will do it with the two thousand nine uh the nineteen sixty seven stuff. Uh, so you guys can see that one and not just the 2009 stuff. Like, pretty sure it just means like I get a change of like uh, trains and you know it will be cool to like actually do that and I've tried it already and that's like really nice. That one actually has announcements, while well, this one doesn't, which is a bit sad, but what can you do? saying at the uh, the beginning of the video like obviously the 2009 stock is very similar to the s stock like you know the 2009 stock is like a sort of mini mini s stock uh obviously they don't have like walk through carriages like which is what i was like why why don't they have walk through carriages you know, like, um at the end of like last year or this year i think it was actually the beginning of this year there was like a cgi video of how a future scene uh, tube train would look like, and it was, it looked pretty cool, and it had, like, walk through carriages and whatnot, so, you know, it's pretty cool. This is Seddy Sisters. There we go. Uh, the, like, also the doors open automatically, which is, uh, kind of nice, I suppose. Yeah. So we can, uh, watch the train depart. So. Try that again. Mm. Oh, so the whistle button is please let the passengers off the train first. Okay, that's interesting, okay. <laughs> okay, so the whistle button is no announcement saying this has been too far too far too far, but you know, what may do with the little PA? Um, the Victoria line, um, before the 2009 stock, the Victoria line was the, um, was like, um, well, when the 2009 stock came out, the Victoria line was the first fully automated line in the world. Like, before the 2009 stock, it was, like, literally unheard of uh, that a train would um, drive itself. Obviously, there are um, uh, Victoria line drivers on the Victoria line today, like, just to check everything's working and maybe they might uh, like overwrites and stuff like signals and and whatnot but you know for the most part i, I do believe the 2009 stock uh i don't know if it's ever driven manually i don't know like i, I do believe the central line apparently um on some days runs manually uh, and doesn't use apo um i'm not sure if that's like fully true but you know it would be very interesting to see like to see if the victoria line has like
like the same treatment where like I guess um, it would be interesting to see if any of the uh, Victoria Line drivers um, drove manually, I guess. This is Fitzbridge Hawk. There we go. Now if I use my new announcement that I've discovered. There we go. That's good. Yeah, you know, it's a like it's a nice little PA, you know, we make the most of it. Like obviously, um, um, as you can see, oh yeah, um, obviously all the uh, London Underground trains, and like obviously the tube today is like driven automatically. Um, but it would be like interesting to know um, if some lines drove manually. Like I don't think, for, like for the most part, uh, they all drive manually. So um, I'm not too sure. It's like, like the thing with this train is there's like um there's not much sound to it like that so um yeah. like see that's the thing like um the annoyance is when you like get part uh like you get past a certain speed um because there's no like um there's no sort of sound file for it uh right coming up to our next st uh, station which is why do I get these like little messages for that I'm not too sure. This is Highbury and Islington, change here for National Rail Service and London Overground. There we go. Highbury and Islington, as you can see. But you know, obviously this is not the, um, I do have quite a lot of criticism for this map. Like, as I say, this is definitely, um, this is definitely not the uh, not the best map, so uh, let's get back in here. As I was saying, uh, this map, like as I say, it's definitely not where one of my favourites. As I say, the Central Line and the Northern Line and the Waterloo and City Line and the Tripoli Line, they're the only like good ones. The Northern Line is uh, like is decent as well. Like as you saw, I've done like a million videos on it. I'm like addicted to it. Uh, I will be doing another one in the series. Um, uh, but it like it has like legit dynamic uh, dynamic signalling. Where like um where trains might be in front of you and you might have to wait for a train if you're like running early or whatnot so it's quite nice. See the annoyance is like uh when you uh when you get past a certain speed like is it just cuts off because it doesn't have um because it doesn't have a sort of sound bar for it. Like it's a very nice cab. You can't really look anywhere. You can just go a little bit to the left and you can. Go. They're like that, and if you look anywhere down, you can see 
just white, where like you can obviously see that that one's been edited like that. Like as I say, this is definitely uh, not one of the best maps. Coming up to our next station. King's Cross, change here for every single line on the network. Yeah, as I say, these camera controls are not very good, as I say. As I say, this is definitely not the best map. Get going. Our next station. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, like obviously, like these trains on the uh, two thousand nine stop. Like, you know, they go, like, really, really fast, and, um, like, you know, they were just, like, like, they, they go really fast, like, there's more than 13 hours, they, like, they have to use seconds on the clock, um, like, you know, when you're waiting at a London Underground station, like, these trains, like, go so fast, um, I remember a sort of time, like, I've heard about from Kurt Yafro when he was, like, um, this was when the 1967 stops uh, we're still around, and I do believe the 2009 stocks uh, were around too. They were like, um, oh, we're coming up to our next station maybe. Wow. What is it? Change here to more than my night. Okay. go. I hate that the doors also close automatically. I find that a little. Oh, this is Houston. I find that a little annoying. Anyway, let's uh, get going. As I say, the uh, Victoria line, like, it's very fast, I remember Quirt Yafro, if you saw his Earth and Maybe and Victoria line review, you'll know, like, once he was, like, waiting for, like, uh, like I think it was, like, uh, or something, he was just, like, um, uh, train spotting or something, which is what, like, we YouTubers do on the underground sometimes. Like, this 1967 stock driver, um, pulled over and they started a bit of, um, conversation and stuff. And they were like, he was like, what do you like? Do you like the new trains and stuff? And the driver's like, um, oh, it's very busy, busy shift and whatnot. And then he was like, do you like the new trains? He was like, yeah, they're good. They're fast and whatnot. But the older ones were like, and then the like, oh, I need to go because this new train behind me. These trains keep up so well. Um, what is this? The station's closed, I think. Um... Warren Street, or was he, was Warren Street ever closed? Wait, let me see. Hang on a second. Um, this is closed. Wait, is it? I think. Wait, 
how to get there. Look at the speed. My whole bit of the uh, carriage is not on the platform. Pretty much this, uh, this map was designed to for the 1967 spot. Um, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why there are people here waiting. Because oh, the station is closed. Yeah, look at that. Station closed, five miles far. My train actually can't fit on this platform, and um, there, there are people waiting at this platform, so I'm not sure. This carriage uh, has almost gone through. And then if I uh, fly down to the other end, um, yeah, you see, this platform is not this platform is not compatible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this. Next station is not uh, open. It's closed. That was interesting. A bit dynamic, dynamic there. I didn't expect that. Like, it doesn't feel like a very, like, it's a long line, but it doesn't feel like very long. I think it only has about 15, 16 stops. But then again, I think it was, like, designed as, like, an express, uh, London Underground route. Um, that, like, didn't stop everywhere, just, like, stopped to those, uh, key points. And kept going, and eventually, like, you know, it came out into, like, a centre point. But yeah, it's not like the, uh, Jubilee line or the Central line, uh, which, like, stopped stops everywhere so yeah this is Oxford Circus Like this, like as you can see, that like this definitely, uh, this definitely wouldn't be good to like uh, to get a screenshot. So, uh, anyway, it's going. Yeah. Like as I say, this is uh definitely not the uh best best map. As I say, I think the best map is the central line, the northern line, the Ghibli line and the Waterloo and Ship line, so Probably do, I guess. I mean, it looks so bad, like, like the train. The train looks like it's been like 
smash with a stamp. It like it looks like the person who made it can like curve it out properly. Like you know that's um, that's unfortunate, but you know. Um, Okay, we had more announcements. Cool. We have two announcements. So Anita is is this one, and then if you press plus on the numpad, uh, for the safety. Uh, for the safety. That's good. We have um, you know, we have two PAs. So that's nice. Quite nice. We had the other platform there. Okay. <laughs> well, perfect. How good was that? How good was that? Jesus. Um, yes. Yeah, that you know, it's not bad. Like, uh, like it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's definitely uh, not the not the best sort of map. As I say, the best map is for me the center line. But you know, it's it's. Okay. Let's get going. Initial thoughts on this uh, 2009 Like, you know, it, it's good. It, it is good. Um, like, the, the tr like the stations are good. The train, I don't think, is that good. No announcements except for. Or. Yeah. And, like, there's no sort of initial PA. And, like, it's not like kind of it's not sort of realistic on call it but you know this map it just about scores it for me you know it's, it's it is good it's like i'm just grateful that it's a playable train because some trains are not playable the game <laughs> This train is just super ugly. Well, I mean, super, super ugly. Right, let me just. There we go. Let's keep going. Like signal things on the station, like it's green now, but it was red when we came. So. What 
what's this next station coming up? Uh, Vauxhall. Um, I do believe this is um, I do believe this is our last station, guys. Uh. Yeah. Yes, we overrun. Doesn't matter. So um that's just it then. Do I not close the doors? I guess the doors just re remain open, I guess. I think it's just rock store, but we can be a bit naughty and close the doors here. And you know, let's see what else is in the tunnel. Let's go for a little adventure. Like, why, why isn't Brixton involved in this? Well, it could have been, you know what I mean. Well, maybe it is, maybe it secretly isn't in the game. Well, we have a tunnel, so let's see where this tunnel takes us. Still going. Still going. <laughs> Like, um, um, oh, 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 I don't know if you guys kind of, I, I think we kind of flip, but I didn't see that. I don't know, like, I don't know if you guys can kind of see in the, because it's quite dark, but we kind of flip. That's fine, let's just go back to the station at. Um, Pimlico, we're at Pimlico for some reason, doesn't matter, um, so thank you guys for watching, this was my playing Open BB in the 2009 stock train, there is a 1967 stock train that I will link down below, um, so if you don't have it in your hand you should get it, shout out again go to my nanny Elaine and my granddad David, that's again my nanny Elaine and my granddad David, uh, the links and stuff to my channel will be down below. Please be sure you're some love. And um, as I say, I will link the 1967 stock so you guys can have a little play of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a lovely day.